And welcome back to the cost of amnesty. And we're taking a look at filmmaker Dennis Michael Lynch's documentary called They Come to America 2, The Cost of Amnesty. Of course, one major theme in the film is the threat that keeps every law enforcement officer involved with our policing of our border awake at night. It's called terrorism. Let's take a look. It took 19 people to execute 9-11. Right. Nowadays, don't you think it could just maybe take one or two to create terror across a country sure, over one day? Sure. Here, here's, here's what hasn't, hasn't happened. There's something about September 11 that, that helped us in terms of it's not being repeated. And that is, I believe, that they want to do an incident that is as big or bigger than that. They want to go one step further. That's hard. I'll push back on you for the second time. I don't think. I think those people are the sickest bastards in the world that are willing to wait and wait and wait and wait. I think it's either going to be on the trains because they're wide open, or it's going to be a series of these people who are all across the country right now, and they're going to pull out little tiny attacks that get us in the heart. يشيلها واحد فدائي ويدخلها من أنفاق مكسيكو إلى الولايات المتحدة كفيلة بقتل 330 ألف أمريكي في ساعة واحدة يعني 11 سبتمبر تطلع زلاطة عند الموضوع هذا ما في داعي طيارات وشكبانات ومواعيد وقصة من المؤامرات والتوقيتات واحد عنده من البسالة اللي يدخل مع أربع أرطال من الأنثراكس وكت عليهم النون النون هذا صح ولا لا تصير المسألة طماشة هناك We'll continue with filmmaker Dennis Michael Lynch um, So let me see if I have this straight So our government is going to get our, all of our phone records They're going to have data mining of Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, Facebook but they're not going to secure the border, and you have a guy like that making a threat like that? You see in the film, Sean, how I demonstrate that you can pull anthrax into the state of Arizona like that. You saw how it is that you could bomb a Amtrak train in my film. I worked alongside the Border Patrol agents. They are so frustrated. You've got the busiest sector in Arizona, as I show you in the film with one guy standing alone in the dark. Meanwhile, drug lords and all their packages of marijuana are coming over with machine guns. What are we doing here? It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, I, I, I told you this privately. I've been down to the border. I've covered it from the Rio Grande through San Diego. I, I saw one of the tunnels from Mexico. I've been to the, the drug warehouses, massive confiscations. I've been out on horseback. I've been out on an all-terrain vehicle, helicopter boats. I've been same story. I get with these guys. Isn't the number one risk here what that terrorist is saying? That is our. That's why we should secure the border more than any other reason. Sean, if I were the president of the United States, based on what I've experienced in making this film and what people will see, I would walk off this set right now because I'd have to go call the National Guard and tell them to get down there. The fact that there is a bill that was just signed and approved. I'm sorry. The approved. Yeah, approved. The Voted fact, on. <laughs> yeah. The fact that there was a bill that was just approved that says 10 years from now we'll have a secure border is absolutely irresponsible. Anybody who says yes to this bill is one of three things. Incapable of reading a bill. Number two, incapable of watching a movie, mine. Or three, incapable of realizing what it's going to, to do to America. I watched 9-11 like this. I didn't see Democrats and Republicans fall out of that building. I watched American citizens fall out of that building. And you know what? There's a boy in Boston who should be playing baseball this weekend instead of being visited by his father in a graveyard. Why aren't we taking this seriously? Uh, look, I have always said, and I'm glad your film goes into great detail about this, that is our number one threat. Why don't these Washington politicians care? Because if they cared, they'd fix it. I'll tell you why they don't care. Because it doesn't happen to them. It hasn't happened to them. 
They think they're, you know, impervious to everything. The Pentagon's not close enough to them? Yeah. Sean, look, there's two. Th th in 2012, there was a congressional report that said Hezbollah is working with the drug cartels. You see it in my film. I'm catching militia hats with Arabic tags. I'm catching Arabic people mixed in with the Mexican people coming over. The other than Mexicans that are coming over the border, it's, it's, the numbers are crazy. And yet Obama and the Gang of Eight and everybody is just going to sit there and pretend like it's not happening. Yeah. And by the way, we, we're a country that send uh, uh, men to the moon and back. We couldn't build a fence, secure it completely in 12 months? Sean. I believe we could. Securing the border takes one thing will. Mm -hmm. There's no will to do it. And when people watch this film, they're going to sit there. And I hate to send panic to people, but you know what? Maybe that's what it takes. Maybe it takes I, a little bit of panic. I think, I think you're telling the truth. I think this is not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when. It is a matter of when. And you know what? There are a lot of people today who are depressed about what happened yesterday with that bill. And let me tell you something. This is halftime. This is halftime. We got another half. And I can tell you personally, I'm going to work harder tomorrow than I did yesterday. All right, we're going to